Hi, I'm Larry Coates, and I'm up here at Oklahoma City to the U.S. Roping here, and I'm going to explain a little bit to you. you. A lot of you guys know I've got a video out uh, describing my pad. I've got a balance pad that's kind of an uh, insert pad that lets the saddle make closer contact to the horse's back. That's exactly what we're trying to do: is keep the saddle close as possible to the horse's back, and that cause the less roll and less friction on the horse's back. And I've got a saddle on this uh, roan horse right now uh, with no pad. So that's why I tell a lot of my customers if they don't know for sure if a saddle fit in the horse's back or not, you always throw the saddle on the horse with no pad whatsoever and you see what kind of a fit you got. And this saddle here fit, this is my uh, 10 spread. It's just my average, average spread. And you look from the front to the back of the saddle, you see how balanced it is and it sits down good on the horse's back. Uh, we got plenty of clearance underneath here. Um, I, you know, a lot of people would look right here and they think, well, we need to get a little bit wider saddle. In my eyes, the bars are sitting right here. He doesn't have a high width, so it's going to look like that. It does sit on just a little bit high, but it's not sitting on high at all. So it's not really that bad whatsoever. So anyway, this would be a saddle that I would probably fit to this horse's back. Now I'm going to throw a, a, a pad on him, and it's gonna, I'm going to show you how people sometimes over pad a horse. So I'm going to throw a pad on him and show him to you. Okay, uh, we're back. Now this is a, a pad here that's just, I mean, it's, I'm not saying it's a bad pad whatsoever, but it's too much of a pad for this saddle. You can see how it sits up on top of the horse. It's not sitting on the horse. We got way a lot of clearance here. So what's going to happen here when you cinch it up, it's going to be all right. It's still balanced on the horse, but you're away from the horse too much and you're going to get a lot of roll with this saddle rather than, you know, going with a pad that really fits and fits down uh, closer to the horse's back. So. You know, this pad here would be more for a real high withered type of a horse to where, you know, we can make, you know, closer contact. But it's just, this pad here, I'm going to guess it's probably about an, oh, an inch and three eighths of an inch thick, inch and a half thick, something like this here. And uh, so anyway, this is a type of a deal that we don't want to see right here. So this is what I call just over padding the horse right now. Now I'm going to throw my pad on him and I'm going to show you the difference between, you know, uh, one that fits down properly like what we want to see on a horse's back. Okay, now we have the black pad. This is my balance pad, the black pad. This is my thinner made pad. And this is the pad I tell everybody that needs to be on a stronger made horse. Which this horse here is not a round back, but he's a stronger made with it horse. And this saddle right here is, is like I say, it's still the same saddle we had on the bareback horse and the thicker pad horse. And now we got the thin pad on it. And see how much better, closer contact that we have. And this is a brand new saddle, you got to realize too. And when you ride this saddle for about 30 days, it's going to drop down about another inch. So we're doing this experiment with a brand new saddle also. But I just wanted to show you uh, how much closer contact you can with a, pad, a proper pad that fits a horse's back. Now I'm going to throw a gray pad on him that is my pad, but it's a thicker made pad that's for a little bit more higher with it horse. So I'm gonna show you uh, the difference between the two pads that I have right now. Okay, here we have the, the gray pad. This is my heavier pad. And uh, you can see how it still, you know, is pretty balanced on a horse's back, but it sits up a little bit more. It still sits better than the first pad that we had there. The, and it was a thicker pad than this one here. So we've had three pads here. And so this is what I'm trying to explain to you that whenever you have, uh, you buy a brand new saddle from me, you need to put your saddle on your horse bareback and see what it looks like. And if it fits him good with no pad, you need no more than an inch pad on your horse's back. And so if you've got something that sits down and hits him right on top of the backbone, then you're gonna to wanna to use the gray pad that'll pick that saddle up a little bit more. So that's the reason why I have two pads on the market. I've got the thin one, which is the black pad, and I got the gray one, which is the heavy pad. So anyway, come by and see us at Oklahoma City, and we're gonna be in Vegas in December at the Sands in the uh, 619 booth. So come and see us there, and. I'll show you my path. Thank you very much.
Hi guys, I'm Miles Coates. I just watched Dad's video on our pad on how it helps a saddle really sit down on a horse's back. I'm gonna go ahead and take it one step farther and tell you exactly how our pad works. Um, if you ever look at just a straight wool skin or wool felt pad after you use it for a while, it crushes down where the bars of the saddle sit. And what it's trying to do is it's trying to even itself out. See, the bars of a saddle are, say, about an inch thick. Well, your skirts on your saddle are only about a half an inch thick. So all the weight is always on the thicker part of the saddle. So what our pad does is it makes the skirts thicker without making it weigh 200 pounds. And so by evening this out, we have even pressure all the way across the, the entire saddle. So when we cinch it up, we're distributing weight all the way across the pad instead of just right here. And so that's, that's how our pad works and, and one, one step farther from the old man's.